Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3 back with another video. And today's topic is the wide receiver room. Something that I brought up in one of my previous videos. I really wanted to dive into this, this topic because this is the first season that I feel like the Bills have a pretty stacked wide receiver roster. Last year, it was a running joke that the Bills had one of the worst wide receiving rosters in the NFL. The Bills also did some kind of goofy things with the roster at, at, with the position last year. You know, they cut Jeremy Curley to have more, you know, rotational guys on the defensive line. So this year, I think Brandon Bean finally said, you know what, I have money. I have, you know, a quarterback that I now can see as the future in the franchise of this, of this team, and we need to get the weapons on offense. So I'm going to dig into the wide receiver roster from top to bottom. I'm not going to name everybody. I'm going to name the usual suspects, the guys that I think that are going to make the roster or are going to be fighting for a bubble spot. Um, so stay with me. You may agree, you may disagree, but we're going to go through each one. Now, I don't think the Bills have a number one wide receiver. I think that the Bills have a bunch of guys that can be number twos on other teams, which is okay. There's not that many teams in the NFL. There's a handful that have a number one solidified go-to. He's the guy. He's the alpha male barking for the ball, number one wide receiver. I think that the Bills' philosophy was get as many guys that can catch the ball, that can run deep routes, that can run intermediate routes as possible. Guys that you can put in space, guys that you can do all kinds of quick, fast motions with and just be fast on offense. I think the name of the game is speed. I think the Bills went into the 2019 offseason thinking we need speed. We need to be faster. All these teams around the leagues are running jet sweeps and they're running screen passes and bubble screens and all this stuff. And the Bills started doing that towards the end of the season when they started getting some speed on the, on the roster. They had, you know, Robert Foster and Isaiah McKenzie. So what I think the philosophy was heading into free agency and the draft was get more guys that we can get open for Josh Allen. Get more guys that have experience for Josh Allen. One of the reasons why I think we didn't draft a wide receiver because we have guys already on the roster and I'll break them down for you. So Robert Foster comes back from last year, stretch the field quick as a hiccup, can, can get down the field, can get open in the intermediate routes. I think the guy has got something to prove. He may be a thousand yard receiver this season. Um, he's the fastest guy on the team. Let, let's be honest. So then you add John Brown. Well, people say, why did we add John Brown when we already have Robert Foster? Well, with both of those guys on the field, who's covering those guys deep? Whichever one doesn't cover the other one. So one of them's getting the number two corner. So John Brown can also run intermediate routes. John Brown was having an extremely, extremely good season with the Baltimore Ravens, and then Joe Flacco got injured and they put in Lamar Jackson. And the whole play style was different in Baltimore and his season kind of hit a standstill. Um, they brought in Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley, I feel like is one of the best, if not one of the top three slot receivers in the NFL. Um, I've said this on numerous videos. Dak Prescott said the guy runs the best routes he's ever seen. He's always open. Um, and if you know anything about Cole Beasley is that he is a work horse. He works at everything he, he gets, he tries, a thousand times harder than anybody else that's just his his makeup that's in his dna to be the best for a guy that stature is remarkable so then you got zay jones zay jones we all know about the rookie season we all know about the dropsies we all know about the off-field issues in between his rookie and his sophomore season but we also know that zay jones was extremely reliable last season towards the end of the season he was the most reliable bills receiver in the intermediate game as far as the underneath stuff. Yeah, Robert Foster was blowing the top off the defense, you know, in long routes, but the intermediate game and the rapport that he had with Josh Allen underneath was special. So there's four guys right there. There's four. So you got John Brown, Cole Beasley, Zay Jones, and Robert Foster. Now you got a bunch of other guys. Um, are the Bills going to bring back Isaiah McKenzie? 
Isaiah McKenzie, they brought him in for special teams, but he had some fumbleitis. Then they put him in some intermediate routes, and he did okay. And then they started running gadget plays with him, you know, bubble screens, jet sweeps, which is good because he's fast, and that that's that was his forte. I just don't know if that's enough to keep him on the roster because now you bring in Duke Williams. What does Duke Williams have that none of these other receivers have? He's got size and he's got length. So you bring in a Duke Williams to be your red zone guy. You bring in a Duke Williams to be your contested catch guy, the guy that's going to go up and catch balls that are inaccurately, might possibly be inaccurately thrown by Josh Allen and come down with with a catch. Um, He balled out in the CFL. Everybody knows about him, the Edmonton Eskimos, player of the year, all that stuff. Um, Played really well at Auburn, had some off-field stuff, but he's looking to rejuvenate his career. A lot of people think that Duke Williams is going to be the sleeper going into the regular season. He's going to make it through camp, and he's going to make the 53. And then you have David Sills the fifth, which is becoming a fan favorite. David Sills the fifth did nothing but catch touchdowns at West Virginia. Wilger's favorite target led all of college football in receiving touchdowns in 2018. The guy is going to have a chip on his shoulder. The guy's, a, the guy's got some speed, 6'3", needs to put on some body weight. He's kind of a thin guy, got a thin frame. He's also going to be one of those fan favorites, you know, kind of like the Brandon Riley's um, and the Chris Hogan's of the past, the guys that everybody's going to fight for when undrafted. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see how not only do these guys get playing time heading into camp, but heading into preseason, how are all these guys going to get on the field? Because you got to think John Brown, Cole Beasley are locked, right? They sign big contracts. So the guys ultimately fighting for spots are Zay Jones, Robert Foster, Isaiah McKenzie, Duke Williams, and David Sills the fifth. There's other receivers on the roster that I didn't even mention. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that there's four or five locks? Um, I didn't even mention Andre Roberts because Andre Roberts is on the team. He's our return guy um, who was also a wide receiver. I didn't bring him up because I know he's going to make the team. Um, He was the best special teams player in the AFC East last year, if not in the entire NFL. The guy torched the Bills. Um, he absolutely changed the field position all by himself in that game. Uh, the one the one game where he had two like 60-yard returns. Just ridiculous. So he's going to be on the roster. That's why I didn't bring him up. He's going to be also used in the passing game, so maybe he takes the spot of Isaiah McKenzie. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to dig in and kind of see if you guys agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you think that I'm sleeping on somebody, if you think that I'm over... Um, judging somebody or if I'm being too strong on somebody's case, let me know. Again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, Buffalo Fanatics. We are on all social media platforms. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can see all the new videos when they pop up. Like this video. Share it on if you're watching it on Facebook. Drop those comments. I'm going to respond to all of them. I'm DM3. I'll see you guys on the next one. You know I'm on fire. No, no, who I be? You better ask somebody.